Hey there friends, Martin here and welcome to this new series of videos where I will be focusing on some new tools that I'm using in my pipeline. And let's start this with an update to a tool that I'm currently in love with, which you probably already know, uh, it is Character Creator. With its awesome character generating, texturing and rigging tools, it quickly became a staple in my projects. Uh, I mean, thanks to it, I was able to solve some of the most difficult issues I had when creating my new Heroes of Bronze shots. Namely, uh, how to create convincing characters even though I suck at character creation. Some time ago, I made a tutorial series on how I make hair in Blender for these characters that I export from the CC3 package. It is a great way to make good looking hair and beards, however, it also takes some time. And since my project is all about saving time, I decided to try this new tool package by Reillusion. There are now some new hair and beard tools available. Uh, not just some tools, uh, pretty awesome tools in fact. So let's have a look at them. Oh, and be sure to stay until the end of the video, because there I will show you a new way I found that you can very quickly import your characters to Blender with more or less one click. If you follow Reillusion, you probably did not miss this new video introducing two new features, smart hair and accurate lips. So today let's focus on the first one and I will try out the AccuLips feature somewhat later. Here you can see me quickly shuffling through some skin gen texture layers on my main hero of Heroes of Bronze, uh, Nikephoros. And the skin gen I talked about in the previous video focused on character creator. But now let's instead focus on these three new products that you can see here. First, you can finally add great looking beards with this beard builder package. And let me tell you right off the bat, it's an awesome selection of various types of beards. What's more, you can add them not just by groups, but also by single elements, which allows you to build many types of different beards. And this all is just drag and drop on your character faces, and it's really easy and awesome fun to play with. What you'll find is that sometimes, when there already exists an element of similar type, you get to choose whether you want to replace all those similar elements, or you add over it. If you choose add, you can layer a huge number of separate beard types over each other, creating unique results. Amazing. And for all these beard types, there are many materials you can choose from, from fine beards to grizzled Norse look. You can change this really quickly by just selecting your beard element and choosing from the presets. One thing that you may have noticed in my latest Heroes of Bronze shots is that the eyebrows are not really 3D on my characters, they're just created with texture maps. Well, that's something I wanted to improve and that's also part of this new package. You can now add eyebrows created with 2D texture planes and this way you add some volume to this part of the face, which is certainly something I needed. And then there is of course the hair package. Whoa, uh, that looks wrong. And as you can see, the functionality here is the same. You have hair groups and hair elements, and you can decide to layer various parts on top of each other. And of course, give them different shaders again. You just find the element you have selected in the viewport and in the material section an appropriate type, and then assign it. Even though there are male or general haircuts, uh, where this package really shines are female hair elements. Yep, much better suited for your women characters. And you can make them even prettier with these extra objects. Uh, let's add a flower here and some ribbon. And yeah, men have some too, like these cool Norse ribbons in the beard builder. All these elements do confirm to your character morphs and you can also move them, rotate them and edit their mesh too. Furthermore, there is also the option to go into the texture settings and play with a robust set of options to really fine tune the hair colors, specularity, transmission and more. Well, really, there's so many ways to adjust the textures of these hair and apart from these menus being a tiny bit chaotic for my taste, 
Uh, once you find what you're looking for, it's again really intuitive. The final package that brings this all together is the hair patches tool, with which you can add these wonderful singular hair strands that fill spaces where there are these sharp borders of hairlines. With it, you can fill them any way you want and reach a much better result. And of course, everything I said about the previous two packages, the way they conform to your mesh and about the adjustability of the textures, it applies to this one as well. You can check the prices at the link in the description of this video. And if you manage to get there before the end of April 2021, you can get both the Prime Hairstyle and the Beard Builder with a 15% discount. Yeah, I know, these additions cost money. And that's okay, I think. Because these are wonderful tools. And especially if you're building a huge project like I do and want to save significant amount of time, uh, these tools really help you with that. Oh, and by the way, if you want to know much more about these tools, head over to Reillusion's YouTube channel. There you will find more in-depth tutorials. Now, when it comes to actually using these new characters, uh, of course, you can export them to Unreal and Unity, but I don't use Unreal or Unity. I use these characters in Blender. And I actually found this very versatile add-on that you can download from the link below. And it does exactly what you would expect it to. Uh, you export your character with hair, beard, clothing, tools, and everything else. And use this FBX export option, Blender type. You would then load this CC3 add-on in Blender. Import your character with this option here. And bam, what used to take me like 10 minutes or more for each character, now it takes just a few seconds. Uh, when you render your imported character, you will find there are some problems with the hair, especially when it comes to subsurface scattering, but that's nothing a few manual adjustments can't handle. You should also definitely focus on raising the transparency bounces here, because the hair is made out of many, many overlapping transparent planes. So that's the new tool I'm currently using. I will definitely include it in my pipeline for the beards, the eyebrows, and maybe for the hair when it comes to some secondary characters. I think that when you go close to your characters, it is still apparent that these are 2D cards, which is not a critique, really. Uh, they are 2D cards, and as such, they make your renders much, much faster. This is an amazing tool for anyone who does not need to go so realistic or so close to their characters. Or naturally for anyone making a game in Unreal or Unity. There, these assets will really shine. Alright, that's it for today. And next time we'll have a look at some new Blender add-ons that I've been using. So until then, Martin out.